It's a long walk high up in the mountains on the Iran-Iraq-Turkey border. For the past two decades, the PKK have trained, regrouped and set out from here for battle. They have been fighting Turkey for Kurdish rights, but now they have become a crucial element in the fight against Islamic State militants. At first glance, these trainees look like ordinary young girls. But they are here to learn how to fight IS. The PKK and its Syrian counterpart, the YPG, have been more effective than the better equipped Iraqi and Syrian armies in combating IS. We have come here to find out the secret of their success. Beritan Sela is a PKK commander. She has been fighting with the group for 10 years. Now she's a trainer. These young women wake up every morning at 4.30. It's all part of the strict discipline of the camp. <laughs> now it's almost half past five and the commander was telling me this game teach them how to defend and how to cooperate together to attack the enemy. Since last year's attack on Sinjar Mountain, hundreds of young Yazidis have joined the PKK. One of them is Avin, a 19-year-old from the Sinjar region. She was captured when IS militants overrun her village a year ago. For two months, she suffered at the hands of IS before finally managing to escape. But instead of going to a refugee camp, she chose to come here. Avin's close friend is Arjin, a 19-year-old Yazidi girl born and educated in Germany. She decided to join the PKK after seeing TV reports of the attack on the Yazidis. Avin is shy and quiet. The commander advised me not to ask her about what happened to her in captivity. But the scars on her face and hands are a silent testimony. She says she is now focused on learning everything she can in order to go back and face her abductors. For three decades, the PKK has been waging a war for Kurdish autonomy in Turkey. The government considers the PKK a terrorist organization. In the past few weeks, Turkish jets have been bombing their bases in these mountains. Drones are constantly hovering overhead. Most of the classes here are held underground. Today's session is about how to avoid thermal cameras and drones. Narin Jamshid is one of the PKK commanders. 
خبات خاش سامی و هم پیرا ذات نوسا پرورده که ام دادن تن نوسا تکنیکی نیم وقت ام پرورده تکنیکی دادن به ویرا جیانی جی مثلا وقت آتش دکه از دچم گلی و یک پیسکولوژیک قارشیت داد دایشه و دست داده هوا لیم وی شکلی تو مجی و جی گری و آماده دکه Narin is an economics graduate from Cyprus University. A Kurd from Turkey, she joined the PKK four years ago. Guru Anajin Kafesi Malda. Usa boy pevisti zulam boy pevisti berjevendi ekhwe. Amajine ki sherker, jine ki shoreshker, jine ki iradeli. Guru daish tur seher mazina. E wana mejburiyet. یانجی برجمندی پره مادی دست کردن های، اما یه مدت خوشانی نه، چونکه ام وقت هزا فدایی نه، هزا فدایی د فکراندن پشروج خود زدتر پشت کو یانجی پشیا خو. News comes through that four of their comrades have been killed. The women head to the PKK cemetery where they are joined by men and women from a nearby camp. The fight with IS has come at a hefty price. Bodies from Syria and Iraq are brought back for burial. This has become a daily ritual. Around 40% of PKK fighters are female. All PKK forces have joined female male leadership. They fight eyes side by side. To keep the fighters' morale high, they dance after burials. With training over, the group comes together for a last dinner in the mountains. مجاری از وجودی تحول همو یعنی به بوی شر زب خاص دکلنه. The same discipline and motivation that makes the PKK so effective against IS also makes them a threat in Turkish eyes. But the recent Turkish air strikes have made it difficult to move around. These women now have to travel for days to reach the front line. They are on a dangerous journey, one which may well end before they ever reach their destination.